What is our purpose in this vast cosmos? In the intellectual ferment of ancient Greece, Aristotle, a figure of monumental intellect and foresight, stood as a beacon of inquiry and wisdom. His thoughts, deeply etched into the annals of philosophy, reached forward into the future, influencing generations to come. Chapter 1. The Inquisitive Dawn Within the hallowed halls of the Lyceum, surrounded by the verdant rustling of olive trees and the eager minds of his disciples, Aristotle pondered deeply on the existential questions that have long perplexed humanity. Central to his contemplations was the concept of telos, a revolutionary idea proposing that every aspect of the natural world possesses an intrinsic purpose. This daring philosophical leap was more than mere speculation. It was an attempt to decipher the fabric of the cosmos itself. He postulated that everything from the gentle descent of an autumn leaf to the universal dance of planets followed an inherent design, a purpose woven into their very existence. Aristotle's teachings, preserved and propagated by his followers, laid the foundational stones for centuries of philosophical and scientific exploration. They spurred a quest to understand not just the mechanics of nature, but also the underlying intentions of the cosmos. Aristotle's legacy, a blend of keen observation and profound thought, permeated through the ages, shaping the contours of human understanding. His concept of telos provided a framework that guided thinkers and scientists as they navigated the complex labyrinth of existence. The idea that everything in the universe, from the smallest particle to the most massive star, is part of a grander scheme, imbued with purpose, resonated through the centuries. It inspired generations of philosophers, artists, and scientists to seek out the hidden purposes of the natural world, to unravel the mysteries shrouded in the cosmos. This philosophical perspective did not merely seek to understand the how of things, but delved deeper into the why, the underlying reasons that propelled the universe's ceaseless motion. Aristotle's teachings, steeped in the quest for purpose, became a cornerstone, an intellectual bedrock upon which the edifice of modern thought and scientific inquiry was constructed. The ripples of his thoughts on Talos have echoed through time, influencing our ongoing search for meaning in the vast, uncharted expanse of the cosmos. The saga of human understanding underwent a profound transformation with the advent of Galileo Galilei, an individual whose fate was remarkably entwined with the celestial bodies he so ardently studied. In the early 17th century, Galileo, equipped with a telescope crafted by his own hands, turned his gaze skyward daring to question the long-standing geocentric beliefs that had dominated since the days of Aristotle. This was a period marked by intellectual rigidity, where the Earth's central position in the universe was an unassailable truth, rooted deeply in both scientific and religious dogma. Galileo's telescope, a humble yet revolutionary instrument, became his conduit to the stars and his challenge to the status quo. Through this lens, he observed phenomena never before seen by human eyes. The rugged craters of the moon, the four major moons orbiting Jupiter, and the changing phases of Venus. These were not just mere observations. They were radical revelations that upended centuries of established thought. Galileo's discoveries transcended the realm of mere scientific curiosity. They were bold declarations of a universe far more complex and dynamic than the Earth-centered model could accommodate. Galileo's findings, meticulously documented in his treatise, Sidereus Nuncius, or The Starry Messenger, sent shockwaves through the intellectual community of his time. This treatise was not just a collection of celestial observations. It was a manifesto that challenged the very foundations of the prevailing cosmological understanding. His revelations placed him squarely at odds with the formidable authority of the church, which saw his heliocentric views as a direct challenge to its teachings. The controversy surrounding his findings was not merely a scientific debate, but a dramatic clash between the new frontiers of empirical evidence and the deeply entrenched doctrines of the era. Despite the intense opposition and personal risk, Galileo stood firm in his convictions championing the supremacy of observation and experiment over established belief. 
his unyielding commitment to empirical evidence and his courageous stand against prevailing dogmas laid the groundwork for a new epoch in astronomy. It was a pivotal moment that marked the transition from a worldview dominated by philosophical reasoning to one guided by observational science, where the truths of the cosmos would be sought not in ancient texts, but in the skies above. Galileo's legacy, thus, was not just in his discoveries, but in fostering a scientific methodology that would forever change the course of human understanding. The narrative of human understanding, having been dramatically altered by Galileo's celestial revelations, found its next monumental chapter in the work of Isaac Newton. Newton, a titan of intellect and curiosity, seemed to possess an almost mystical ability to discern the fundamental laws governing the universe. In his seminal work, Principia Mathematica, published in 1687, he laid down the foundations of classical mechanics that would stand unchallenged for centuries. This magnum opus was more than just a book. It was a comprehensive treatise that provided a mathematical framework for understanding the motion of celestial bodies, as well as terrestrial objects. Newton's laws of motion articulated with unparalleled clarity and mathematical rigor transformed the study of dynamics. Moreover, his law of universal gravitation, which posited a force of attraction between all masses, revolutionized the way humanity perceived the cosmos. It was an achievement of epic proportions, turning the seemingly chaotic and inscrutable movements of heavenly bodies into phenomena that could be predicted and quantified with astonishing precision. Newton's ability to distill the complexities of motion into a set of simple, elegant laws marked a turning point in the history of science, forever changing how we understand the universe's workings. Newton's work did not just reinforce the heliocentric model championed by Galileo. It took a bold step further by unifying the mechanics of the heavens and the earth. Before Newton, the celestial and terrestrial realms were viewed as operating under different sets of principles. Newton's Principia demolished this dichotomy, showing that the same laws of motion and gravitation applied to both the apple falling from the tree and the moon orbiting the earth. This unification was a profound conceptual leap, illustrating the elegance and simplicity underlying the universe's apparent complexity. It was a unification that resonated far beyond the boundaries of physics, symbolizing the ideals of the Enlightenment. In a world seeking order, rationality, and understanding, Newton's Principia stood as a beacon of intellectual triumph, encapsulating the era's spirit. It embodied the Enlightenment's quest for a rational and ordered universe, where reason and empirical evidence reigned supreme. Newton's synthesis of the celestial and terrestrial under a single set of laws was not just a landmark in scientific thought. It was a powerful metaphor for the intellectual aspirations of an entire age, an age that sought to bring clarity and understanding to the mysteries of the universe and human existence. As the 20th century dawned, a new character emerged on the stage of scientific discovery, destined to revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos, Albert Einstein. At the time, a seemingly unremarkable clerk in the Swiss patent office, Einstein's extraordinary intellect and boundless imagination were preparing to transcend the traditional boundaries of physics. In 1905, he published his special theory of relativity, a groundbreaking work that dramatically altered our conception of space and time. This theory proposed that space and time were not distinct entities, but interwoven into a single fabric, space-time, and that this fabric was influenced by the presence of mass and energy. His theory challenged the Newtonian notion of absolute time and space, introducing a universe where time could dilate and space could contract. But it was Einstein's general theory of relativity, published a decade later, that truly reshaped our understanding of the cosmos. This theory expanded on his earlier work, incorporating the effects of gravity into the space-time continuum and predicting phenomena such as the bending of light by gravity and the existence of black holes. Einstein's vision of a curved space-time fundamentally altered our perception of gravity, not as a force, but as a curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. 
In tandem with Einstein's revolutionary ideas, the early 20th century witnessed the birth of quantum mechanics, a field that delved into the bewildering world of the very small. Pioneers like Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg stood at the forefront of this quantum revolution, revealing a subatomic realm that operated under rules entirely different from the macroscopic world. In this strange new domain, particles did not have definite positions or velocities until measured. They existed in a state of probability, a concept that defied the deterministic nature of classical physics. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and Bohr's model of the atom introduced concepts that challenged the very nature of objective reality, suggesting that the act of observation could fundamentally alter the state of the observed. This quantum world was not just a theoretical curiosity, it had practical implications, leading to the development of technologies such as semiconductors and nuclear energy. The quantum revolution, alongside Einstein's relativity, represented a significant paradigm shift, marking the transition from classical to modern physics. Together, these developments expanded our understanding of the universe, from the vast expanse of cosmic space to the enigmatic behavior of subatomic particles, and laid the groundwork for the technological advancements that would define the century. The expedition of human understanding, stretching from the intellectual curiosity of Aristotle's ancient Greece to the groundbreaking revelations of Einstein's relativistic universe, has been a remarkable odyssey through the ages. This journey, marked by an unrelenting pursuit of knowledge, reflects humanity's intrinsic desire to decipher the mysteries of the cosmos. In ancient Greece, Aristotle laid the foundations with his philosophical inquiries, contemplating the natural world and its workings, setting the stage for millennia of scientific exploration. As history progressed, each era brought with it new discoveries and insights, each a crucial stepping stone in our quest to understand the universe. The Renaissance, with its fusion of art and science, catalyzed an unprecedented expansion of human knowledge. The scientific revolution further accelerated this quest, as figures like Galileo and Newton challenged long-standing beliefs and fundamentally altered our perception of the cosmos. This journey of discovery has been anything but linear. It has been a tumultuous and exhilarating adventure, one that has repeatedly reshaped our understanding of the world around us. As we stand at the threshold of new discoveries, on the brink of unraveling further mysteries of the quantum realm and the vast expanse of space, we are reminded that our quest for understanding is an ever-evolving saga. Each answer we uncover leads to new questions, each discovery a gateway to further mysteries. The journey of understanding, which began with the inquisitive minds of ancient philosophers, continues unabated driven by our insatiable curiosity and our relentless desire to explore the unknown. The dawn of human understanding, it appears, is merely the beginning of a much grander and more intricate voyage. A voyage that promises to take us to new frontiers of knowledge and understanding in the cosmos. Chapter 2. The Age of Discovery and Industrial Revolution In the vibrant, culturally rich streets of Renaissance Florence, Leonardo da Vinci emerged as a towering figure, embodying the relentless curiosity and intellectual fervor of the era. Amidst the backdrop of a city teeming with artistic and scientific awakening, da Vinci's presence loomed large, a symbol of the Renaissance man who seamlessly blended diverse fields of study. His workshop, a veritable laboratory of ideas and innovations, was a nexus where art and science, observation and creativity, converged in an extraordinary display of human intellect. It was here, in this crucible of innovation, that Leonardo da Vinci conducted meticulous studies that laid the groundwork for modern anatomy. His anatomical drawings, based on dissections he personally performed, transcended mere artistic endeavor. They were scientific explorations into the human body, revealing its complex mechanisms with unprecedented clarity and precision. These drawings were not only masterpieces of art, but also pioneering contributions to medical science, offering insights that would challenge and expand the existing knowledge of human physiology. Beyond the realms of anatomy, 
Leonardo's genius manifested in his visionary designs and inventions. His sketches and notes, scattered across the pages of his journals, were a testament to a mind that saw no boundaries between artistic imagination and scientific inquiry. He conceptualized flying machines with a keen understanding of aerodynamics, centuries before the advent of aviation. His designs for hydraulic pumps, military machines, and architectural innovations were not just flights of fancy, but practical explorations of engineering and physics. These works, far ahead of their time, exemplified the essence of the Renaissance spirit, an unquenchable thirst for knowledge and a relentless pursuit to understand, replicate, and harmonize with the complexities of nature. Da Vinci's legacy transcended the traditional divide between artist and scientist. His life and works became a beacon for future generations, inspiring an interdisciplinary approach to understanding the world. In the intricate lines of his drawings and the boundless imagination of his inventions, Leonardo da Vinci encapsulated the spirit of an era that redefined what it meant to seek knowledge leaving a legacy that continues to inspire the quest for holistic understanding and innovation. This kind of intellectual curiosity eventually culminated in the Great Industrial Revolution, a period of profound transformation, which marked a turning point in humanity's relationship with both nature and technology. This era, characterized by a dramatic shift from agrarian societies to industrial powerhouses, reshaped not just economies and landscapes, but also societal norms and human life itself. At the heart of this industrial revolution was a profound transformation in the ways of manufacturing and production, a change that was marked by the pioneering and visionary leadership of Henry Ford and his groundbreaking enterprise, the Ford Motor Company. Prior to Ford's innovations, the production of automobiles was a laborious and costly process, predominantly accessible only to the wealthy. It was a time when cars were built by skilled craftsmen who handcrafted each part and assembled them meticulously, making the process not only time-consuming but also expensive. This exclusivity of car ownership was a clear indicator of social status. However, Henry Ford, with his revolutionary ideas, sought to change this paradigm entirely. Ford's introduction of the assembly line in the early 20th century was nothing short of a groundbreaking moment in the annals of industrial history. This innovation was not a mere improvement, but a complete overhaul of the manufacturing process. The assembly line allowed for the mass production of automobiles, dramatically increasing the efficiency and reducing the costs associated with car manufacturing. By breaking down the production process into simpler, repetitive tasks, Ford's approach significantly sped up the assembly of vehicles. This not only revolutionized how cars were made, but also profoundly impacted the broader industrial sector. As a result, automobiles transformed from being a luxury item to an accessible commodity available to a much broader segment of the population. This democratization of car ownership had far-reaching implications, not only economically, but also culturally and socially, as it reshaped the landscape of American society and beyond. The ripple effects of this change were vast, extending far beyond the walls of factories and into the very fabric of society. It heralded an age of mass production and consumerism, cornerstones of the modern industrialized world. The story of the Industrial Revolution is not just the story of technological innovation. It's also a tale of the thinkers and visionaries who provided the philosophical and economic underpinnings for these seismic changes. In Britain, Figures like Adam Smith played a crucial role in shaping the economic theories that would support and justify the era's transformations. Smith's seminal work, The Wealth of Nations, laid out the principles of a free market economy and capitalism, theories that would become the economic bedrock of industrial societies. His ideas on the division of labor and the invisible hand of the market complemented the technological advancements of the time providing a philosophical framework for the burgeoning industrial age. Simultaneously, the Industrial Revolution also sparked a profound rethinking of social and political structures. Philosophers like Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels critiqued the burgeoning industrial society, highlighting the disparities and exploitations that came with unchecked industrialization and capitalism. 
their works, including the infamous Communist Manifesto, offered a stark analysis of the class struggles inherent in the industrial society, and proposed an alternate vision of societal organization. These philosophical debates and critiques were as much a part of the Industrial Revolution as the steam engines and factories, reflecting the era's deep and often turbulent re-examination of societal values and structures. Moreover, the Industrial Revolution brought about significant changes in the human relationship with the natural world. The unprecedented exploitation of natural resources, the rise of urbanization, and the environmental consequences of industrial activities started to reshape the landscape and brought new challenges. This era laid the groundwork for later environmental movements and raised critical questions about sustainability and the human impact on the earth. Each of these elements contributed to a profound shift in the way humans lived, worked, and thought, ultimately influencing our ongoing quest to understand the meaning of life in a rapidly changing world. As we reflect on this period, we see a microcosm of humanity's broader journey, a relentless pursuit of progress, often accompanied by profound philosophical and ethical considerations, and a continuous redefinition of our place in the world. As the 20th century approached its twilight, a transformational wave known as the digital revolution began reshaping the very essence of daily life. Leading this charge was a cohort of visionaries, among whom Steve Jobs of Apple stood as a pivotal figure. These trailblazers, working from modest garages and nondescript offices, were not merely building companies, they were architecting a new epoch, the information age. Their vision was clear and profound, to make computing power universally accessible, transforming computers from exclusive complex machines into essential user-friendly tools for the masses. The innovations born from this vision, personal computers, intuitive software interfaces, and the burgeoning expanse of the internet, became the cornerstones of this new digital era. This period represented more than a technological leap. It signified a fundamental shift in how humans interacted with information and with each other. Personal computers revolutionized not just the professional landscape, but also the domestic sphere, becoming a staple in homes and altering the fabric of everyday life. The development of user-friendly interfaces transformed the way individuals interacted with technology, making it more intuitive and accessible to a broader audience. However, it was the advent of the internet that marked the zenith of this revolution. It collapsed geographical and temporal barriers, enabling instant communication across continents and fostering a new degree of global interconnectedness. The digital revolution reshaped the way we work, learn, socialize, and even perceive ourselves, creating a parallel digital existence as rich and complex as the physical world. The innovations of the late 20th century did more than just change practicalities. They altered our very conception of reality, challenging traditional notions of space, time, and community. The information age stands as a pivotal chapter in our ongoing narrative to understand and find meaning in life amidst an ever-evolving technological landscape. This chapter is more than a chronicle of technological and intellectual milestones. It is a story of human ambition, of a relentless quest to transcend limitations and redefine our understanding of the world. Each era, with its unique cast of visionaries and innovators, has propelled humanity forward, expanding our horizons and challenging our notions of what is possible. In this continuous journey of discovery and innovation, we find not only the advancement of technology, but the evolution of our very quest for meaning a quest that propels us into the future. Chapter 3. Gazing into the Cosmic Mirror The launch of the Hubble Space Telescope in 1990 opened a new vista in the annals of astronomy and marked a significant milestone in human exploration of the cosmos. Perched far above the distortions of Earth's atmosphere, Hubble offered an unprecedented, unobstructed view of the universe acting as humanity's eye in the sky. This remarkable observatory provided crystal clear images of celestial phenomena that were previously beyond the reach of ground-based telescopes. 
from witnessing the intricate processes of star formation in distant nebulae, to observing the final dramatic moments of galaxies being consumed by black holes, Hubble dramatically expanded our visual access to the cosmos. Its deep field images, capturing galaxies billions of light years away, were not just breathtaking to behold, they were scientifically transformative. These images offered a glimpse into the universe's distant past, revealing billions of galaxies in various stages of evolution, and providing a visual confirmation of the universe's vastness and its rich diversity. The Hubble Space Telescope became a tool of discovery, revealing the universe in a level of detail that had been unimaginable, enabling astronomers to observe the cosmos in ways that ground-based telescopes never could. Beyond its stunning imagery, the Hubble Space Telescope served as an indispensable scientific instrument, contributing significantly to our understanding of fundamental cosmological phenomena. Its observations provided empirical evidence that has been crucial in validating and refining key theories in cosmology. One of the most significant contributions of Hubble has been to the study of the universe's expansion. By observing distant supernova, Hubble helped astronomers determine the rate at which the universe is expanding, leading to the groundbreaking discovery that this expansion is actually accelerating. This revelation had profound implications, suggesting the existence of a mysterious force known as dark energy, which is driving this acceleration. Hubble's observations of gravitational lensing effects provided insights into the nature and distribution of dark matter an invisible substance that constitutes a significant portion of the universe's total mass. The telescope's findings have continually reshaped scientific understanding, challenging astronomers to rethink their theories about the nature and fate of the universe. The legacy of the Hubble Space Telescope, therefore, extends far beyond its stunning visual contributions. It has reshaped cosmological thought offering new perspectives on the universe's mysteries and deepening humanity's quest to understand the cosmos. The European Space Agency, in its quest to unravel the mysteries of Mars, has added another layer to our cosmic understanding. Missions like the Mars Express Orbiter and the ExoMars program represent a concerted effort to probe deeper into the Red Planet's secrets. These missions, armed with sophisticated instruments, have sought to map Mars's topography, analyze its atmosphere, and search for signs of water and past life. The intricate drama of these missions lies not just in their scientific objectives, but in the challenges they overcome. From the perilous journey through space, to the delicate task of landing and operating on the Martian surface, the data sent back by these missions provides crucial insights into Mars' geologic history and its potential to support life fueling both scientific inquiry and the age-old human yearning to understand our place in the universe. The field of theoretical physics, running in tandem with the advancements in space exploration, has ventured deep into the enigmatic realms of the cosmos, unraveling mysteries that challenge the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. Central to this exploration are the mysteries we face when searching for dark matter and dark energy. These theoretical constructs have dramatically reshaped the cosmological landscape, painting a picture of the universe that is far more complex and mysterious than previously imagined. According to these theories, the visible matter that we can observe, the twinkling stars, sprawling galaxies, and glowing nebulae, represents merely a small fraction of the universe's total mass and energy. The rest is thought to be composed of dark matter and dark energy. Invisible forces that do not emit or absorb light, but exert a significant influence on the cosmos. Dark matter, inferred from its gravitational effects on visible matter and light, is believed to be the scaffold that holds galaxies together, while dark energy, hypothesized from the observation of the accelerating expansion of the universe, is thought to be driving this expansion at an ever-increasing rate. The implications of these findings are profound, suggesting that what we see and understand about the universe is just the tip of an enormous unseen iceberg. The quest to understand dark matter and dark energy 
has become one of the most captivating and challenging endeavors in modern science. It represents a multidisciplinary effort, intertwining the realms of observational astronomy, particle physics, and theoretical cosmology. Astronomers and physicists around the world have embarked on this quest, employing a variety of innovative methods and technologies. This chapter in humanity's quest for understanding is a testament to our relentless pursuit of knowledge. As we continue to explore and unravel the secrets of the cosmos, we are constantly reminded of the grandeur and complexity of the universe and of our ceaseless endeavor to find our place within it. Chapter four, the harmony of everything. Beneath the tranquil countryside of the Swiss-French border lies the large Hadron Collider, a marvel of modern science, emblematic of humanity's relentless pursuit to decode the universe's deepest secrets. Operated by CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, the LHC is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. Its very existence is a testament to human collaboration and technological prowess. Here, in a tunnel 27 kilometers in circumference, protons are accelerated to near the speed of light and smashed together, creating conditions akin to those just after the Big Bang. The discovery of the Higgs boson, a particle integral to the standard model of particle physics, was a monumental achievement of the LHC. This discovery, confirming the existence of a field responsible for giving mass to elementary particles, was not just a triumph of physics, but also a momentous occasion in human history, reshaping our understanding of the universe's fundamental fabric. As the LHC delves deeper into the uncharted territories of dark matter and dark energy, it traverses a landscape where science meets philosophy. These elusive concepts, accounting for most of the universe's mass energy composition, remain among the greatest mysteries in modern physics. The pursuit of dark matter and energy at the LHC and other facilities worldwide is more than a scientific endeavor. It's an odyssey into the unknown, challenging our conceptions of the cosmos. This journey is not a solo mission. It involves a global community of physicists, engineers, and thinkers each contributing to the unraveling of these cosmic enigmas. The dialogue spurred by these pursuits extends beyond the realm of empirical science, touching upon the very essence of our existence and the nature of reality. As we can see, there is a profound interconnectedness of life, technology, and the cosmos. It is a testament to the human spirit's indomitable quest for knowledge a journey that spans the vast expanse of space and the infinitesimal world of subatomic particles. This chapter weaves together the awe-inspiring tale of space exploration, the intricate science of particle physics, and the philosophical implications arising from these quests. Each element of this narrative is a thread in a larger fabric, illustrating how our quest for understanding is a collective endeavor. With each discovery, each technological leap, and each philosophical insight contributing to a greater symphony of knowledge. As we stand at the precipice of the unknown, we're invited to reflect on our role in this grand quest. It beckons us to embrace the mysteries of the universe, to contribute our unique perspectives and talents to the unfolding story of discovery and understanding. Reflecting on our journey through the chapters of human exploration, the question, what is our purpose in the vast cosmos, takes on a profound resonance. Our exploration has shown that our purpose is not a static, singular answer, but rather a dynamic, ever-evolving narrative. At its core, our purpose in the cosmos appears to be a relentless pursuit of understanding. Just as the ancient philosophers contemplated the stars, the scientists at the Large Hadron Collider probe the subatomic world, and the Hubble telescope peers into the depths of space each endeavor reflects a deep, intrinsic drive to comprehend our universe. This quest for knowledge is not merely academic. It is a journey that shapes our identity and place in the cosmos. Our purpose is intertwined with the act of creation and innovation. From the artistic triumphs of the Renaissance to the technological marvels of the information age, human history is marked by a continuous effort to reshape and understand our world. Each era's advancements, whether in art, science, or technology, are not just milestones, but
but reflections of our desire to express, explore, and extend our boundaries. In a broader sense, our purpose also involves a connection to something greater than ourselves. This connection can be seen in our collaborative endeavors, such as international space missions or scientific collaborations like CERN, where the collective effort transcends individual aspirations. It is a testament to our social nature and our ability to achieve greater things together. Philosophically, our purpose in the cosmos may also be seen as a journey towards self-realization and existential understanding. The more we learn about the universe, from the vastness of galaxies to the intricacies of subatomic particles, the more we reflect on our own place in this grand scheme. This reflection is not just scientific, it is deeply personal and spiritual, guiding us to question our values, our relationships, and our goals. Lastly, our purpose may be to simply marvel and participate in the wonder of the cosmos. The sheer beauty of a starry sky, the intricate dance of particles in a collider, or the complexities of a computer algorithm remind us of the joy and wonder inherent in existence. In this sense, our purpose might be to experience, appreciate, and preserve the marvels of the universe we inhabit. In conclusion, our purpose in the vast cosmos is multifaceted. It is a pursuit of knowledge, a drive for innovation, a quest for connection, a journey of self-realization, and a celebration of the wonder of existence. As our understanding evolves, so too might our perception of our purpose forever an integral part of the ever-unfolding story of the cosmos.